Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more. Let's play Fire Emblem Engage. We just defeated Marnie and Mavir for like the 58th time. Okay, it was like the 4th, but still, a large number of times. And we just cleared an Illusion port town of Corrupted, which were formerly its residents. So things are going great. I see my cat approaching. Oh, hello. All right, well, not going to be anybody to talk to in this port except for our own team members, I suppose. My cat immediately decides to sit in front of my screen, so I'm having to look at my uh, the output in the recording software. All right, sorry, what was that you were saying, Sapper? Ooh, an owl. That's cool. Ooh, ooh. Um. Oh, Anna. Well. I haven't used Louie in a long time, that's true. Look at my party members guilt tripping me again. By the way, speaking of doing uh, some, using some items and doing some class changes, I believe we can do all that right here. Let's do it now while I'm thinking of it. Alright, you need a speed up, Vander. Yeah, take this speed wing. Give it a use. Alright, good. Who needs the Draco shield? And what does the goddess icon do again? Ah, luck plus two, that's right. Alright, so who needs defense and hit points? Honestly, I could use the hit points. Because we almost lost last time. Due to, uh... Me suddenly taking a whole lot of damage. There we go. The player avatar can't have too many hit points. Alright, but who needs luck and who needs defense? Lapis has relatively low defense for being a frontliner. Same for Fram. Oh, that's especially too, true of Chloe. Maybe I'll give it to her. There we go. Take back your Steel Lance plus two. Not that she uses it a whole lot. No, not that. No, wrong, wrong. Misclick. There we go. And who needs luck? I'll just give it to whoever's luck is the lowest. What? Luck 42? Good lord. Looks like Lapis's luck is pretty- Oh, Vander's is god-awful. Alright. Man, I am pumping so many stab boosters into you, Vander. 
I'm doping this poor guy up. He's on gear. Also, just one vulnerary? That's running low. Uh, Alright, you get an elixir in its place. Enjoy. And now, classes, classes. Saline, we need to deal with this. I could just reset her back to level 1 Vidam, which is not a bad idea. Sword Flyer would be interesting, but obviously I need her still able to use, honestly, all of those. I'm having her use the swords, the tomes, and the staves, so... Griffin Knight. Wow, she has a lot of options. Mage Knight is kind of interesting. But I do need her using those staves. High Priest, interesting. Self-healing. Yeah, in the end... There we go. Just reset your level back to one. While I'm at it, in terms of classes, another thought occurred to me. Mmm, I would destroy her stats by resetting her back to Lance Flyer. What can I say? I I miss old design Chloe, but if it's going to annihilate her stats changing her back into that class, let's not do it. Okay. Uh. Ah. Uh. Sure. Indeed. I notice our ship lacks a latin sail. I think I already talked to you too, right? <sighs> yeah, I did. <sighs> yeah. You should definitely be proud of that. Right. Stray Kitty, let's not leave it in this horror show of a undead town. Beans. Alright, I think we're done here. those craggy mountains in the distance. Yep, we are done.
Oh, is that a new paralogue? Oh, two new paralogues. Okay, we're not moving on to the next story chapter yet, then. Also. Uh, right, right. We have emblems to assign. We've got conversations to watch. Good lord, we have lots of stuff to do. All right. Improving my kingdom, surpassing my father as king. I'm not sure I can actually do all of that. Don't worry about can or can't. You just have to do it. That's what dedicated training is for, right? To make sure you reach your goals? That's exactly right. <laughs> I like talking to you, Ike. Ike is a pretty no-nonsense guy. He's pretty cool. I like Ike. At least as he's depicted here, so if this is true to how he's like in his games, then... Like I said, he's pretty cool. Oh, grade B with Hortensia. Hey, Divine One! What do you think of me this time? Still pretty gaudy. I went out of my way to be extra super cute. So... Are you ready to concede defeat and admit that you're completely charmed? I have a lot of girls who really want me to be completely charmed by them, apparently. You certainly are cute, and I'm sure you put in a lot of work for it, but I told you before that cuteness doesn't affect how I treat people. Why are you fixated on this? <sighs> I didn't want to bring it up, but okay. My mother was one of the king's mistresses. She suffered a lot of backstabbing in the court. I never saw her upset, though. She took every insult with a poised and graceful smile. Well, this is turning into a surprisingly dark backstory. That smile secured her place in court. It even won the king's wife over. That's how I know charm has a power all its own. And I'm going to use mine the same way. Whoever would have thought that you have a serious and kind of tragic reason for your cuteness obsession, Hortensia. I understand. Can I ask you something? Do you think maybe your mother had more than just her own survival in mind? What do you mean? Maybe she did all of that in part so you could learn to survive the court as well. <gasps> she must have known she couldn't always be there for you. She'd want you to learn from her. To me, that is real charm. What we do to help the ones we love. Mother, I never realized. Huh. Surprisingly serious little bit of backstory for Hortensia. Who would have thought? Oh, grade B for Fram and Vander. Uh, oh no. Oh no! I forgot where I'm supposed to take this package! Uh, Vander's gonna kill me. Hello, Fram? Ah, Vander, hey! So I was on my way to deliver that package, like you asked, and, um, I messed up. Again. You can go ahead and yell at me now. Grant me the patience. No matter. It wasn't terribly urgent. You're... you're not mad? Why should I be? You admitted your error and apologized. But I promised to stop messing things up. Growth takes time. The Somniel wasn't built in a day. That's true. Try breaking tasks into pieces and going through them step by step. That works for me. Okay. Next time, I'll get it right for sure. You're gonna be so proud! Well, that was incredibly wholesome. <laughs> oh, grade B for Chloe and Hortensia. That's right. Hortensia was jealous of Chloe's sophistication. Maternal sophistication is all about gently embracing everyone, drawing them to you. I get how it works, but actually pulling it off is something else entirely. You're not really built for that kind of thing, Hortensia. You should play to your strengths. I just gotta keep observing you. I'll learn all your tricks eventually. Whatever I can do to help. I hope it works. Oh, but wait. Before we get started... Let me wipe your face. Ugh, did I have something on me? 
You did, but I took care of it. Now that cute face of yours is even cuter. <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. Wait. <gasps> that was it. That was it just now. I just naturally trusted you and let you wipe my face without even thinking about it. Having you dote on me felt... I don't know. Peaceful. Aw, did it? That's so sweet. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't let my guard down around you at all. Anyway, let's get moving. I need to see more of this in action. Be sure to drink some water first. Huh? Why? On a warm day like today, it's important to drink when you can. Oh, sure. Glug, glug. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Wait a second. I fell for it again. Your motherly charm is kind of terrifying, Chloe. Well, that continues to be some kind of running sitcom. Uh, let's see. I'm going to return to the Somniel briefly. I'm not planning to spend a long time there this time, but sometimes it just kind of happens. So we will see. We will see. You see... Hmm... Who's at the pool today? Oh, there's Princess Timmel. Looks like, uh... I forget his name. Pandeo chilling out. And Citrine. I can't interact with them while they're, uh, while they're just sleeping. Hmm. It's just me or their icons kind of suggesting someone's standing up on the balcony. Yep. Oh yeah, things are pretty crappy right there right now, that's for sure. Indeed. And seed all. And what snack to have. That's probably the most important of the things you're contemplating. Hey there, Zelkov. I cracked myself up. Uh... Oh, this might not be the best place for you then, Sapphire. Sorry about that. You're here. Cool. All right, I'm going to invite. Vander and Clan. I want to see how their story progresses. Okay, they both like chilled vegetable soup. Toss in a rare vegetable. All right, happy to get this cooked up for you. I sure hope this turns out okay. Let's see, a dash of this, a sprinkle of that. There you go, a fine dish indeed. Now, time to eat. Why, this is quite nice. That's good. Can I have seconds? Excellent. Rank C. Kind of odd. Chilled soup. Oh, here you go. Take some for later. Went well enough. Alright, I have uh, grade B with Vander. How's this gonna go? Divine One, I have finished repairing and polishing your weapons. Thank you, Vander. I have also prepared all of the materials you will require for the War Council tomorrow. Please do take a moment to review them sometime today. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I can't do this. Do what, precisely? Vander, do you think I'm unreliable? What? Goodness, no! We are mortals. 
And you are the Divine One, our magnificent leader, if you take my meaning. For you to perform lowly tasks that are mine to execute is most gracious, but uncalled for. I'm sorry, but I don't feel comfortable having a servant. That's not who I am. I understand your concern, me, but you, I, am a deity. Like, maybe it's okay for a deity to have a few servants. Ah. Before I was your attendant, I was similarly engaged in caring for Queen Lumera. Your mother, perfect in mind and beauty, never lodged a complaint regarding my services. In time, Divine One, I hope that you will grow accustomed to my work as your caretaker. I respect my mother, and thank you for your service to her. But I'm not my mother. I'm my own person. I'm capable. I can take care of myself. I see. I think I'm missing the point. It's not about being capable or not capable. My apologies, Divine One. I have pushed myself on you. An old servant's habit, I suppose. I will honor your request and take more care in considering your needs moving forward. Thank you, Vander. And please, let me know before you do anything on my behalf. There are many times I will need your help, but I'd like to ask for that help. Alrighty, um, I've got some emblems to assign, don't I? Who was Roy assigned to before? I actually don't remember. Yeah, I, I legit am having trouble remembering who Roy was assigned to. Well... I think now... Maybe I'll assign him to Chloe. That could work out. Wow, Grant's level plus five, that's crazily good. Oh, sword only. Well, that's fine, because she'll have a sword when she can use that power. She'll have a sword from Roy himself. Yeah, Lance Reaver. Well, let's consider giving it to Chloe, but who are some other options? Obviously, you should go on a melee fighter. Diamant already has one. Uh, Lapis already has one. Could give it to Gold Mary. Hmm. Roy and Gold Mary. Interesting thought. And the other one, of course, is Micaiah, who used to be on uh, Yunaka, but Yunaka's now maxed out with Lucina, and I don't want to put, put that to waste by transferring Lucina to somebody else. So I think Micaiah's going to need a new home. Maybe Royal go on Gold Mary and Micaiah on Chloe. That could work out. Let's perhaps give that a try. Roy. To victory. And Chloe. Micaiah. Micaiah, of course. With that done. We're going to need to get them some battles, of course. Hmm. Let's play this one again. Jump straight into some emblem fights. Alright, go ahead and train up with your new buddy, Gold Mary. Apologies in advance for the devastation. <laughs> I am Roy, son of Eliwood, 
Marquess of Beret. Prepare for battle. Well fought. I must train my skills. I'm sorry that you stood no chance. <laughs> Gold Mary just cracks me up. I like having you around, Roy. Your strength complements my sophistication. Uh, sure. Yeah, we work well together. I love how Roy is just like, oh yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm not sure Roy is thrilled being paired with Gold Mary. But honestly, who would be? Alright, let's get them up to level 10. You know, nice jump start. Gold Mary, humble soldier of Illusia. I'm Roy. I'll be your opponent. Well fought. I must train my skills. I'm sorry that you stood no chance. Everything you cook looks delicious, Gold Mary. Really makes me wish I could eat. I suppose you'll have to content yourself with the aroma. So, they're spirits, so they can't interact with the physical world, which means they can't eat, but they can smell? So what exactly are the rules on what they can physically interact with and what they can't? Because smell is still a physical thing. I'm, I'm definitely overthinking it. Alright, Chloe and Micaiah. will act as your opponent today. I am Micaiah. It's a pleasure. I need more training, <laughs> I suppose. I always do my best. Wreck now and in the matches to come. Wrecked instantly. Oh my gosh. Wow, Micaiah. You're looking radiant as ever. All you need now is a sweet little bird. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You're looking like something out of a storybook yourself. You know, does every character get, like, three tiers of unique dialogue with every single emblem? Because if there's 12 emblems, and there's how many characters in this game? Like, a lot. I, I haven't actually counted them, but it's a large number. Let's say 30 for the sake of argument, and it might be more. That's like 30 times 12 times 3. 30 times 36. So 30 times 30 is like 900. And then 6 times 30 is another 180. That's like... If that very quick math was correct, that's like over a thousand little short conversations they had to write. Just... And record. And record all the voice acting. Just for these interactions here alone. Not even counting all the cutscenes and all the other support conversations. That's insane. <laughs> Let's get them up to level 10. I am Chloe, Royal Knight of Firene. I'm Micaiah. Let's make this match a good one. I need more training, Wrecked. I suppose. I always do my best. <laughs> now and in the, the casual time. instant destruction. I got my hands on some salted fermented fish. I hear it tastes good enough to knock you flat. Chloe, why is everything you eat so disgusting? Never mind the taste. I'm worried the smell will be enough to do the job. Okay, once again, it, <laughs> twice in a row, it's about smelling. Food. I, I'm seriously confused about how this works. Alright, well anyway, good enough. We've assigned our emblems. We've got them up to level 10. Which I'm going to call good enough for now. Should probably do some regular training as well. With whom is the question... Maybe Louie. Haven't used Louie in a while. 
Maybe Etier? I mean, Louis level 8, though. He's not lagging. Hmm. Maybe Clan. I'll be your partner. I was a mercenary, you know. I'm used to this sort of thing. Nice one. You got me good. Wow, Clan. Yeah. The lingering taste of victory. That was really good. Unexpected. But the garbage level is not unexpected. Poor clan. He tries. He really does. Alright, and uh, Amber, I guess. He, You know, he can be a backup cavalry unit. If I can ever get him to suck less. I'm Amber, a royal soldier of Brodia. Let's try not to hurt each other, okay? <laughs> it's been an honor sparring with you. Whoa! They'll write about this in history books for sure! They, they, they won't, Amber. They won't. Unless it's about you beating up on little kids again. That's not the first time, is it? Poor Jean. He's like, oh man, I, I want to fight. I'll get in on the training. And, I'm Amber, the Alpaca Wrangling Master. And he just gets wrecked. I am Diamant. Prepare yourself. <laughs> I'm crushed, but you look really cool. And then Amber fights the real opponent and gets destroyed. Oh, they have a conversation available. All right. Prince Diamant, check this out. I got my hands on a legendary secret potion. One whiff of this baby is supposed to make you spill your deepest, truest feelings. Amazing. We could use this to extract plans and information from enemies. Well done, Amber. Thanks. I'll go put it somewhere safe. I would hate for something to happen. Whoa! Oh, there goes that bottle. You okay? Oh, oh. Prince Diamant. I... Um. I must tell you how I feel. Oh, no. You must have caught some of the fumes from that potion. Prince Diamant. Thank you so much for letting me be your retainer. If it weren't for you, I'd probably be on an alpaca ranch. I'm so grateful to you, and respect you so, so much. Like, really a lot. I think you're the greatest, because... Be, because you... Uh, uh, huh? Amber? What's up, Prince Diamond? Wait, was I just talking a bunch? My head feels fuzzy. You don't remember. The potion worked. You were pouring your heart out just now. Whoa! No way! What did I say? Well, it would be embarrassing to repeat, to be honest. Let's talk about this later. Oh, sure. Understood. I'll uh, talk to you later. Amber, you, you are the biggest loser. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Amber. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, is Yunaka anywhere? Because I still have things in my inventory I can give to her. I have not seen her on the Somnial in the longest freaking time. I think we're probably done for now. Going to be a bit of a shorter episode this time because I think I'm going to call it there. And next episode, we have a couple of paralogues to do. I don't know if we'll be able to get them both done in one episode. Probably not. Uh, so probably the next couple of episodes are going to be getting paralogues done. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I'll see you then.